Hello, I don't know, as if you guys reviewed, this is the second set of like special parts, effects. Uh, Super Mario, Nintendo sticker right there, make sure you get out, else it might be a fake. Uh, box art is again just overall, all of them have the same theme. And uh, all the box art is pretty nice the way they've done it. Uh, disguises it from being crap. <laughs> this one looks like on top. Bottoms just white and the back. Uh, so open this. Actually, I'll show you the back. Uh, if you want to take a look at the box art longer and the instructions manual, feel bleh. please feel free to head over to the Facebook link below where I'll be posting photos of all of that. And uh, <clears throat> for example, here's the instructions manual. Pretty big instructions manual. Five, four, three, two. Okay, uh, open the tray. So yeah, Mario finally has a second pair of hands to help him home hold the Koopa shell. No Koopa though, just a shell. Uh, coins, and you got these tiny little pegs, which I think I just dropped some. Uh, that helps Mario actually hold the uh, Koopa shell. There's these holes in the hand and you know you peg them in and you can hold them. But these hands should have come with the actual figure because think about it. Mario just came with fists, he can't even wave uh, or have relaxed hands. This is like the relaxed or wave hands that he should have come with. Another coin, another long and short stage for the coin. Wish I had something else like red flower or something. Oh, no, that might come with the uh, second figure and Mario's painted white which so bet that they're gonna do it because that's just a color swap and really it's the same stupid terrible figure. Another Goomba uh, and the main attraction is the pipes really. Um, even though this is a lot bigger box, it's the same price as the other special effects set. So you, you really can't go on. If you if you got the figure and you just really want one or the other, it's totally fine. Just have one or the other. Um, already talked about the Goomba, so I'm not gonna talk about that again. I'm gonna talk about the just get, just get the coin. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even come in another block. So why have so many coins? It doesn't make sense to have all these coins. It just doesn't. Anyway, put that there. I'll put the Goomba hiding behind the coin. The douche. Um, green shell. Uh, th this is actually decent because you know, um, first of all, the mold and stuff is really good. And uh, just overall, this is a good thing. It's not just painted on these lines, everything is molded. And uh, the genius part is they hide the little holes inside where, where there are holes. So, you know, in order to, to hold them, you peg one of the pegs into these slots, which is good. So, this is actually a good accessory for once. Um, and you got the pipe. The pipe is fun, to say the least. So, by default, you have that, and you got this one which has a hole in it. And it is taller, like taller than this piece, so you can swap them around and do different like pipe lengths, heights. So uh, you know, you stick this one on. And you actually put stuff in there because you know, I had a Goomba in there. Or something like if you put the boxes away, like store the boxes away, put these on display, you can hide stuff in there, like all the extra parts, and use it as a container. So you got that. Put the Goomba in there because you can't see him. Just the tip of the head, and then you can put the Goomba on this pipe. Oh, you put the Goomba there, you know, it's like he's coming out. And guys, with this height, it's for Mario to go blip, blip, blip. So I'll get Mario off the stage. Come on. Oh, whoops. So there's Mario coming out of the pipe. It's a me, crappy Mario figure. Bling. Uh. So, yeah. Uh, so I'll get those hands now. Okay, the table's getting quite busy. Not table, um, wooden board on the box. Pop the hands off. It's to me, my ah! Should put Mario Mortal Kombat like as a bonus. Nah, fatality on him. A <laughs> peg on. Ah. See, now, come on. 
I'm having trouble with this. Can't. <sighs> Jesus Christ, just. <sighs> Finally. Christ. Okay, so here's how it works. Uh, if you want Mario to hold it this way, you get the two straight pegs and just sort of find a hole in there somewhere. And these are so easy to lose, so I'm going to be extra careful. Watch me just drop them right now. And uh, yeah, you make Mario blood butter of a Koopa shell by stabbing him in the hand. So, I'll uh, put this in. Just don't, don't piss me off. Do this off camera because I'm stretching my hands. It'll be easier this way. My pain will be over sooner. And get that stupid hand off back on that stupid arm. Like, why is this so hard? Who designed this? You got great stuff like Kamara the Kabuto with. Uh, and you, got, you got this. He's like he's like a cat. He's like, hey master, I really like you about this dead fake. Oops, bloop. So we can hold it sideways. You wanna hold it straight on, you and un well unpeg this whole bloody look. Hands don't even stay on. This is just this is horrible. Get, get. Uh. Ah, oh, that's me, Mario. I got like a piece of glass in my hand. Uh, right. I wish. Okay, if you want to hold him this way around, you get this longer, like this, this sort of like L-ish shape one, and you peg that in the front angle. It's sort of like teasing you, like he's growing arms. And then, and then you peg it into his hands. See if this has a fall off again this time. Okay, it's about. Again. Okay. No. Come on. This is. This is just not fun at all. I'm trying. To I can't even close his hands enough for this to peg in. This is stupid. Just get in. My god. Because his articulation is so crap, I can. Oh, and his hand pops off. Okay, when he's holding it in this angle, like, this is as far down as it'll go. I'll push it down for the more, and face gonna pop out again. Ugh. Just... So, that was a chore. I'm sorry, when you have a figure and accessory packs that's just a chore. This is, this is, like, I thought Ryuki was bad. You remember my review of that, where all the pieces just keep falling all over the place. I thought that was bad. But no, this is, this is, this is just worse. It doesn't have as many parts that annoy, but, in, you know, the parts that they do have, it's really, really annoying. Um, like, you know, it's like, Quantity over quality, whereas here is like the quantity of annoyance over the no, the quality of the annoyance over quantity. Ugh. Put that coin back up there. Stupid. So that's uh, co this concludes my three part Mario thing with the three sets, and um, yeah, it's. It, it's it's over a disappointment and um, the same other one. If not buying it means we'll never get an SH figure out of Yoshi. 
it's it's worth it because if they bring Yoshi out, which is my favorite Mario character, by the way, um, he he probably just be as crap. Uh, hopefully, or people will complain enough and they'll make a good Yoshi. Who knows? But as is right now, the whole set is just disappointing. It is just just don't just don't 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 get it unless you. Get it for, unless you see it for really, really cheap. Half the price. There you go. Half the price of this official release price. Then it'll be worth it. Apart from that, just don't. Don't. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking. Like, but it looks so pretty. It's Mario. It looks so colourful and red and green and blue and all that. Nah. Well, yeah. Um, you buy SH figure arts for the actual quality of the structure and not just the looks. Just like you don't buy a laptop for just the looks. Oh, this laptop is sparkling clean and shiny and inside's crap and that's why you don't buy an iPhone product <sighs> just write just a card below and cause take care have a nice day and hope you're having a better day than I am Arrgh!